correct what effectively, Mr. President, resulted in a deception to the people of Minnesota. If you will remember, as we entered the 2022 election, there was contemplation about the huge surplus that was being anticipated here. We saw it last year, Mr. President, this body spent $19 billion of overcollected tax money from the people of Minnesota, and it spent the whole thing. Well, Mr. President, if we remember back, the governor was talking as he worked to get elected of a $2,000 tax rebate to the people of Minnesota. As a matter of fact, Mr. President, if we had done the right thing and headed in the right direction, $19 billion would have been over $4,000 per family in the state of Minnesota that this body should have sent back to them. But, Mr. President, we did not. Instead of the $4,000 per family, the rhetoric was deceiving them around $2,000 per family. As a matter of fact, instead of the $2,000 per family, the final result was a deceptive $260 per family, a measly, paltry $260 per family that was sent to them in a rebate. And this deception, Mr. President, was so bad that we even, in the language, gave them a tax on top of that for accepting the paltry $260 per family rebate of their taxes that were overcollected at a rate of over $4,000 per family. That's the level of deception that the product of this legislature produced last time and dealt out to the fine, hardworking people of Minnesota. As a matter of fact, Mr. President, members, we asked in tax committee and uh, the uh, revenue commissioner was there and he did a good job, I think, of over, uh, over uh, doing a, a, an um, what's the word I'm looking for, members, of doing an overview of, overview it is, of doing an overview of how we got here. Why in the world did this body deceive the people of Minnesota and not only give them a paltry $260 when it should have been over $4,000, but we also gave them a tax on top of that. Why in the world did this and how in the world did this body do that? And the commissioner, Mr. President, made it very clear that it was not the legislature that wrote the language for the rebate. It was the Department of Revenue that wrote the language. And Mr. President, members, I think it's very instructive as we endeavor to do our work here as a legislature and represent the people of Minnesota that we write the legislation, Mr. President not the executive branch. We had the executive branch write that language, and as we know, and as I know, and have seen in my history here, Mr. President, I think everybody intuitively knows this, when you have the executive branch write an agency bill or an agency provision, what ends up happening is the member ends up getting lazy. The body ends up getting lazy because, Mr. President, if the executive branch wrote the legislation and wrote the language, they had to have it right, right? I mean, most people would think if the Department of Revenue wrote it and it's about taxes, it's got to be written correctly. But guess what? It wasn't written correctly. It was written to put this body, this state, the people paying the taxes in this state in the position of having to pay the federal government taxes because why? This legislature was lazy. L-A-Z-Y, lazy. We didn't do our job properly. We allowed the executive branch to determine the policy and determine the specifics of the policy. And that is why, finally, the people of Minnesota were deceived into thinking they were going to get a paltry $260 per family rebate, and they instead got a tax increase. Let's fix this, Mr. President. 
let's fix this, members. Let's endeavor to not be lazy as a legislature anymore, and let's endeavor to not deceive the people of Minnesota and remove the last piece of deception that happened there and fix this provision so the hardworking people of Minnesota don't have this in front of them. Thank you, Mr. President.